stand for the bride.
Please be seated. Welcome and thank you for coming to this celebration. We're gathered together here in the presence of God, friends, and family to celebrate the love which Megan and Robert have for each other, to give social recognition to their decision to commit their lives and accept each other completely to learn how to help and understand each other, to build a family, and together to travel through life. If any of you has anything to say that might change their minds, they don't want to hear it. <laughs> However, they do want to hear that you are their village and that you will always support and encourage them as they discover the dedication and commitment needed to make a marriage work. And that is why you are here today. If I speak in the tongues of men or angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. So, before we go on, I wrote a little pop quiz for you two. We're going to see if you guys can know the answer to these questions. I'm going to start with Megan, so Robert has a chance to listen and get it right. Megan, do you take Robert to be your wedded husband, to share your life openly, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love so long as you both shall live? I do. All right, that's the right answer. And now we'll see if Robert was listening. Robert? Do you take Megan to be your wedded wife, to share your life openly, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love, so long as you both shall live? I do. All right. That's two for two. We get to go on. May we have the rings, please? Robert. Please place the ring on Megan's finger. Look at her and repeat after me. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Family and friends. Family and friends. I, Robert. I, Robert. Choose you, Megan. Choose you, Megan. To be my wife. To be my wife. To laugh with you in joy. To laugh with you in joy. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grieve with you in sorrow. <laughs> to grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. To be faithful to you alone. To be faithful to you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. All right, Megan, please place the ring on Robert's finger. Look at him and repeat after me. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Family and friends. Family and friends. I, Megan. I, Megan. Choose you, Robert. Choose you, Robert. To be my husband. To be my husband. To laugh with you in joy. To laugh with you in joy. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. To be faithful to you alone. To be faithful to you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. The circle is a natural symbol of eternity, as it has no beginning and no end. We place the ring on the left hand because it constitutes a direct path to the heart, a traditional metaphor for love and devotion. Its presence reminds us of the vows made and the relationship to the emotional seat of the heart. We pray these rings will always grace the hands of Robert and Megan. So then, ladies and gentlemen, with these thoughts and words in mind, 
I'm honored to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Oding III. Robert, you may kiss your bride. Thank you.